video, we're over dyeing fabric with indigo dye. Over dyeing means dyeing fabric that was previously dyed with a second dye. This can be done to create another color. I'm curious to see the results. Will the indigo dye overpower the original color or will it blend to produce a new color or shade? Here are the items that I'm planning to over dye. Cotton dish towel dyed with weld, cotton dish towel dyed with cochineal, cotton t-shirt dyed with logwood. For equipment you need an indigo dye vat, water, a tray, latex gloves, and prepared workspaces. For safety, never use utensils that have been used for dyeing to prepare food. For the dish towels dyed with weld and cochineal, I plan to do multiple dips. I'm using rubber bands to mark the dip lines. I should end up with a band of the original color and bands for each of the dips, one, two, and three. The original weld dyed dish towel with rubber band markers. The original cochineal dyed dish towel also with markers. I'm placing the rubber band markers on the bias for variety. Both towels were mordanted prior to the original dyeing, so that may factor into the over dye color. Next is the logwood dyed t-shirt. I plan to dip the t-shirt twice. The shirt was dyed in a second extract of logwood, so the color is very pale. Let's get started. Keep in mind that this video builds on our two previous videos, which covered preparing the indigo dye vat and basic indigo dyeing. Please view them for details that we've already covered. The basic steps for over dyeing, pre-soak the prepared fabric, Dip the fabric in the dye vat, squeeze out excess dye, set aside fabric to oxidize. Then, either redip to achieve darker shades or remove bindings, rinse, and hang to dry. In about a week, launder with mild detergent and hang to dry. By now, we know that these steps are iterative and flexible. First, pre-soak the prepared fabric in water for 20 minutes to an hour. This encourages the fiber to soak up dye. I was a little surprised how much pink dye the cochineal fabric released. Squeeze out excess water and air from the fabric before dipping it into the dye vat. Next, dip the fabric in the dye. You can keep the fabric in the dye vat for as long as you want. I'm using one to two minute dips. I'm wearing gloves to protect my hands from being dyed blue. For weld, I'm leaving the original color and then dipping the marked off sections once, twice, and three times. Likewise for cochineal, I'm leaving the original and then dipping the marked off sections once, twice, and three times. This will give me an idea of the colors that are possible with multiple or longer dips. For the t-shirt, I'm dipping it twice. Once dipped, squeeze out excess dye, then place in the tray. I left the fabric in the tray for about 20 minutes between dips. This gives the fabric a chance to oxidize. After 20 minutes, I rinse the t-shirt to remove excess dye. I remove the rubber bands from the towels and spread them out to oxidize a bit more. This exposes the bunched up fabric to oxygen to further set the color. After another 20 minutes, give the fabric a good rinse. Hang the fabric to dry. In about a week, launder the over-dyed fabric using a mild detergent like professional textile detergent or Synthropol. Hang to dry. Let's look at the outcome. The original weld color is a vibrant yellow. The section that was dipped in indigo once is a yellow green. The section that was dipped twice is a darker yellow green. The section that was dipped three times is almost an emerald green. The dip sections have quite a bit of streaking. This is from the fabric being bunched up, preventing the dye from permeating the fabric. The rubber bands prevented dye from bonding with the fiber, so the yellow bands of color are like tie-dyeing. The original cochineal is a lovely pinkish purple. This towel was dipped on the bias for variety. The section that was dipped once is also quite pinkish purple, but not very distinct. In reviewing the film clip, I noticed the rubber band wasn't pulled tight, so that may be the cause. Still, the color on the sides is almost a lavender color. The section that was dipped twice is darker purplish blue, especially on the sides. The section that was dipped three times is a deeper purple blue. This towel isn't as streaked as the well-dyed 
towel, but it still has some interesting streaking and mottling. The original logwood color of the t-shirt was a very pale purple. I dipped the shirt twice, letting it oxidize between dips. The resulting color is almost a pale blueberry color, but it doesn't photograph well. It looks more like a pale blue instead. I did the over dyeing on day three of my four day indigo dye weekend. The dye vat seemed to hold its own and produce some vibrant over dye colors. In the next video, we'll see more of the projects that we tackled when the dye vat was in its prime.